I first saw Michelle LeBay, now Hunter, play hockey in December of 1995 at the Deerfield Academy Holiday Tournament. I was looking at seniors and juniors, but the player who drew most of my attention was Michelle, one of the younger players in the team. I was amazed with her speed, her competitiveness, and her grit, and I could not get over her high-pitched voice screaming for the puck all over the ice. She was someone we had to have. Three years later, Michelle was a freshman at Middlebury, ready to start her incredible hockey journey. Paired with Sylvia Ryan for three years, the two instantly clicked, and each always seemed to know where the other was on the ice. Their calls to each other still echo in this arena. Together, they scored more than 300 points. Several times during Michelle's four years, we played teams that were not very good. Instead of running up the score or having to play keep away for the entire game, we decided to have players switch positions. I'm not talking about switching forwards and defensemen. I'm talking about skaters and goalies. When Michelle heard about our plans, she quickly volunteered to play goal. I still have vivid memories of her flopping around the crease in oversized goalie equipment. Needless to say, I don't think she ever let in a goal. During her four-year career, Michelle would play and win 111 games, winning 97, losing 11, and tying three. She and her teammates would win four ECAC championships in the first two national championships for Division III women's hockey. Michelle would never lose a Division III game, part of a streak that would see the Panthers win 137 Division III games in a row. When Michelle played her final game in the national championship in Rochester in 2001, she retired as the all-time leading scorer in Division III history with 240 points, a record she still holds. If she had been allowed, Jack, I am confident Michelle would have had more than 340. A two-time All-American, All-Americans were not recognized before her junior year, Michelle was selected as the 2001 National Player of the Year, one of four Middlebury players to have ever been so honored. As a result, Michelle's number 16 jersey was retired, and no one has worn it or will wear it, at least until I'm done coaching. One of the benefits of coaching women's hockey at Middlebury for 29 years is that I know the history of this program. I love to share it with the current players, and I believe it is my responsibility to teach them about the past. When they look at all of the championship banners hanging in Kenyon Arena, I want them to ask about those teams and the women who played on them. I want them to feel connected. They've heard stories about Kizan and Kogut, Hefner and Ryan, and many others. But the, but the name they've heard the most has always been LaBay. Michelle, on behalf of all of the women who have played hockey at Middlebury and worn the jersey with the M on the front, we want to say congratulations to you, and we are thrilled you are the first women's hockey player inducted into the Middlebury Hall of Fame. Congratulations. So before I let Bill step down, now that I'm a mom of three girls, I want to have him say in front of everyone that he plans to stay another 20 years to coach them down the road. So can we, can we count on you, Bill? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, wow, thank you. Thank you for those kind words, Bill. Thank you, Aaron, and the whole committee for this honor. I remember when Aaron called me, I guess it was a year and a half ago, um, kind of in the middle of the day and, and got a hold of me and told me that I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame. I didn't quite know what to think. It was honestly more than I could have imagined. I mean, when you are a Middlebury alumni, the pride you feel is tremendous, as many people in the room know. And so just to be acknowledged as part of the rich athletic history of this program is an incredible honor, and I just want to thank everyone involved in that decision and congratulate the other athletes being honored tonight. Um, it's fun being back in this room because this is where it started for me at the Duke Nelson, and I have memories of coming here for 7 a.m. practice in the middle of the winter, and it was freezing, and back then my hockey stick was aluminum, and I could barely hold it because my hands were so cold, and I know I have some teammates in the room, and they probably remember that. 
And so about halfway through my sophomore year, we switched over to the Chip Kenyon, which was amazing. It was beautiful and bright and brand new locker rooms. And it's funny, our first few practices we went on, we all felt so slow because we were sweating and we we're like, this is, this is very different. Um, but we obviously quickly became adjusted and have so many incredible memories um, at Chip Kenyon. And I'd say the biggest thing for me as I think back, and today I had the opportunity to watch the current Middlebury hockey team practicing and just watching them out there. You know, I'd give anything to be back um, on the ice. And I remember Bill Mandigo always saying, you know, wearing the Middlebury jersey, it's not a right, it's a privilege. And every time you step out onto that ice, you're representing something much bigger than yourself. And I felt that every single time I stepped on in the ice with my teammates, my amazing teammates, three of whom are here this evening. And, um, and I'll never forget that. I mean, being part of the Middlebury Athletics is just such an honor. And you know, you're representing the school every single time you put those jerseys on. And if I think about you know, coming out of Middlebury, I was extremely prepared from an academic standpoint. But I would say in my professional career now, many of the lessons or the things I use every day, it's, it's the teamwork, it's the collaboration, it's you know, Bill being able to give me feedback and instead of getting discouraged, it's making, making me wanna be even better. Knowing that you're you know, working towards a common goal um, you know, with some of the people that you respect and admire the most. And it's th those are really the lessons that I find have just helped me, you know, in my post Middlebury life and career. So um, I'm incredibly grateful. I can't I can't really describe um, just the opportunities that being part of the you know student athlete at Middlebury has given me. I do want to acknowledge three of my teammates who are here tonight. As Bill mentioned, one of them, Sylvia Ryan, and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be standing up here tonight if it wasn't for Sylvia because I think I have the most points for assists, but that's really because she scored all the goals. So thank you, Sylvia. Um, and then Sarah Carpenter, who was my co-captain and still one of my um, best friends today. It was such an, you know, it was just one of great experience playing with Sarah. And then my sister, Krista, um, who, who gets to play, you know, college hockey with their sister and win national championships. So she's here tonight and thank you. It's, it's so much fun seeing you guys. And then I also want to thank just the rest of my family who's here tonight. My father who, you know, back in the early 80s decided that a girl could play hockey. Um, I grew up in Montreal and you'd think everyone played hockey, but it was still a big thing for a girl to step on the ice. Um, and he, I remember him saying to me very early on, you know, stick with it because if you end up being good at this, it could open up doors for you. And I, you know, I couldn't be more grateful to him for you know, continuing to push me in that direction. And it certainly has. And of course, to my mom, thank you for helping me, pushing the academic side and always being there for me. And, um, you know, an ear on the other side of the phone when I needed you and you continue to do that today. I do wanna acknowledge my husband who didn't know me at the time. He's a Dartmouth hockey player. And he's already agreed that, um, that yes, our three daughters should go to Middlebury versus Dartmouth. <laughs> he's sold and he's built a rink in the backyard of our Illinois home to get them started and, and they're already well on their way. So um, thank you again. This is really such an incredible honor. I'm grateful to be here. And uh, congratulations again to the other inductees. And thank you very much.